Hi guys, so I am over here in Central going to grab a snack over here at 99 Speed Mart. That's actually really cheap, like a mini mart. It's uh, cheaper than 7 Eleven here in Malaysia and also cheaper than uh, the KK Supermart. So that's it if you're looking for a good price here. It's called 99 Speed Mart. So it's, you got some of these around. It's almost like a grocery store as opposed to like a mini mart like you would have 7-Eleven here. But if you go to 7-Eleven in Malaysia, it's a, not as good as Thailand. Thailand's much better. So you could eat uh, at 7-Eleven uh, Thailand. Cheap price, you know, good selection of, uh, you know, like frozen street food, TV dinner, stuff like that there. Sorry, excuse me. Hey guys, so here I am in Sintel. Uh, soon I'm going to be jumping over to Chalket. I'm walking. You can see the Patronus Towers up ahead of me there. So it's give or take about two miles. Uh, it's like 2 p.m. or I think it's 1:30 p.m. So it's kind of it's kind of warm. It's not like as warm as Bangkok, as I've said in previous videos. But, so I'm just walking, uh, I'm gonna uh, go back down to Chinatown and I'll show you guys some sites that I saw yesterday that I went to videotape. So that's what I'm doing here. Now if it gets a little bit too hot outside, I'll jump on the metro. So here's Chalkit, at least the beginning part of Chalkit here. It's a little bit more busy, you know, more lively and well the same will be true once we get past this and take a right turn up here okay just went by the uh, overpass there and made a right and you can see there's Patronus over there and then up here you've got that the other KL tower. Now we're getting a little bit closer. You can see that this part of the city is a bit more lively here with the more hotels and restaurants and things like that than Centel. So here we have some toy stores. A variety of different kids, bikes, electric vehicles for sale here. This is still in Chalcut. So this is interesting here. Looks to be some kind of a government uh, building that has been shut down here or uh, out of business just because it's uh, old, abandoned structure here. Just taking a little break here, up underneath the trees here. It's actually pretty nice, as long as the sun is not out, uh, then it's not so bad here in Kuala. Not like it is in Bangkok, you know, where you're, you'd be sweating profusely at this time, 2 p.m. Here we go, guys. There's a place called the Swiss Hotel. I suspect 
Now, I'm not sure if this is open or not. I can see some people in the windows, but it does not look in a good state of repair here. But I'm going to go around the front and just check and see if it's open here. And we are about, still got about three-fourths of a mile to go back to Chinatown here. But I'm going to check this out first. Now, this side looks actually pretty good here. Is open here, so I'm just going to check the price here and just see. So the price, it is open, and the I didn't actually go look at the room there, the Swiss hotel here. That's it. The price they gave me was seventy ringgit with the tax included. Now that is about fifteen dollars a night. That's okay. It's it's all right. Now if they, I think my ideal price would be. Uh, if they came down to 60, I might take it. But I want to go look at the room first, of course. Um, and I'm going to check online just to see if it would uh, be lower price online. You know, maybe maybe I'll stay here. Maybe uh, you know, try the other. I'm in another place that I've been in a long time. Maybe I'll try this one instead. But I'm going to show you guys some abandoned hotels in, in a few moments here. So I just uh, checked on booking.com, this Swiss hotel there that I just uh, went inside of, uh, it's listed for $150 a week, which is uh, kind of expensive, you know, with taxes included. So she gave me a good deal for up, uh, but I'm going to go check the room. I think a day or two now, I'm going to go check the room to see if I like it, you know. And this uh, Swiss hotel is close enough to where I can just walk down to, you know, wherever that I'm want to go here instead of having to take the metro to pay the extra you know dollar to uh, go on that you know so here we are we're near the Masjid Masjid Jamek station which is near uh, Murdica Square in uh, Kuala So this is where we came by yesterday for the tour. Four Points Sheraton, a very expensive hotel. And I'm gonna take a look at, for today, I'm gonna take a look at this building here. It's a place called Tunas Utama, which means a center of something. I'm not sure what it is. But what this is, it looks like an abandoned hotel. It's basically which has two additions here to it. It's just old. Um, I'm going to see if I can't look, get inside. We'll see if we can take some pictures of the place here. So here we go. No, can't get inside today. It's locked. Uh, yesterday it was open. There was a guy working here. But let's see what we can see, check out about this building here. It looks basically just that it's old and needs to be remodeled. And that's why it's shut down here. Hmm. So more than likely, uh, you know, there's several abandoned hotels around here. I think probably just because they're old and they've, you know, kind of worn out their uh, usefulness here. <clears throat> so here's a hotel called the Hotel Mandarin Pacific. And this is uh, was last used about three years ago. So there's several uh, that were, you know, in business three years ago. And I suspect what's going on there is that maybe that's when this other one opened up and they could not stay in business, you know, getting a little bit old here. So that's why this place went out of business. Let's go and take a look here. Looking a little bit dusty here. Not really any security guards standing here, but there is a padlock on the door. How much would one night cost for tonight? 
Let's see here. Probably be kind of dangerous to sleep in here. Because there's a lot of homeless people around the neighborhood here. That? In the oh, in the, in the hostel? Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, I moved to a different place now. Yeah. Let's see. Our hotel across the street here, City Inn Hotel, which is open at present time on booking.com. They have several rooms there, so maybe I'll go take a look at that just to see what that looks like as well. It's kind of expensive given the outside of the hotel. It's kind of in ratty condition, you know. Asked when I was sitting outside the Mandarin Hotel there, uh, or he just passed me, uh, who that was. Uh, he was staying in the hostel that I was at, and I, I didn't actually notice him, but uh, friendly guy, you know. But when I was in that hostel uh, two days ago, uh, there was one guy who was really drunk, just having a good time. There were mostly friendly people there. Um, but then I had this one guy who... Uh, he was uh, muttering things to himself in the dorm there. Um, in, I don't know what language, I think he was speaking Spanish or something like that. And so that was kind of scary, you know. But he didn't do anything to me, he just... kept turning the AC on and off. So on the left here, um, we have yet another abandoned structure here, which is more like an office building here. So it just looks old. Yeah. The development here is moving away from Chinatown. So I guess that's just a natural part of a, you know, building. Uh, just outdated, you know, it looks like from the 1980s, maybe even 1970s. There you go, guys. So here's another hotel that I had passed. Uh, a couple of days ago called the Chill Inn. You can see it's in a state of disrepair here. However, the lower portion of the building is still open for business, right? It's not totally shut down there. So it may just be that the building, you know, the hotel portion of it is just not, you know, worth having open. So I checked on uh, Google, and the reviews stopped about three years ago. So there's the same as the other place. Uh, three years old, it's been out, out of business. So either probably it's going to be torn down, or you know they would uh, remodel it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's torn down eventually. So let's go take a closer look at this place here. So you got a couple of stores over here. Phone repair. And here's the entrance to the Chill Inn. Yesterday I couldn't actually find the entrance to this place. I was like, where is this? You can see they still have the rug here. Got some fire extinguishers in there.
and can't gain entry unless you got permission from somebody to go inside and take a look. So here's, let's see, okay, you do have, there's one restaurant open at this corner of the building here. Interesting that they would have this. Uh, Okay, so this is on the other side here. You've got, it's basically part of some other building, you know, that's just connected to this one. So I'm just going to take a break here at Starbucks Maybank before I head over to Chinatown.